Welcome to the first day of February of 2024. I'm Dan Ramey, Mike Smith, the icon has returned, and um, off camera right now is our extraordinary producer, Aaron Glandon. That's better than saying extraordinaire, right? Well, I don't know. <laughs> Depends think, on what you mean. <laughs> well, I think it was, uh, was it uh, Rush that used to talk about his producer extraordinaire? Oh, okay. I didn't want to use his phrase. So. I just always heard him talk about Snurdly, so. Yes, Bo Snurdly, mm -hmm. which made you wonder, was it a real person or not? I, I know there was a real person. I'm, I just don't know if the, the real person was Bo Snurdly. I'm almost thinking that he had more than one Bo Snurdly. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. That's why I was, yeah. it's kind of like Bozo. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How many of them are yeah. there? Oh, yeah, really? So. Two of them right here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, enough said. All right, uh, coming up here shortly, we'll get you caught up to date with the, the happenings and news, also sports, and this date in history. Uh, let's tantalize them right now. What date are we going to for this date in history? 1790. 1790 for the Litter Media Wayback Machine. Make sure we get that dialed up so that we can redial it to return right afterwards. All right, first, let's take a look and see what the weather's doing for us today. Um, warmer. That's a good point. Uh, cloudy today and tomorrow with a high 50 today, 46 tomorrow. Can't believe St. Louis is talking about 65 nice today but that's not coming our way we're not talking about anything that warm here even for the weekend sunny and 50 for the high over uh, both uh, weekend days all right so we will look forward to it being a little warmer uh, i thought it was odd seeing this uh, bright thing looking at me that wasn't headlights this morning mm -hmm. <laughs> it was actually sunshine so uh, that's really good to see today all right news on the way in just a moment First, we want to tell you about Scioto Valley Dumpsters. If you've got a cleanup job that needs to be done, and as you, if you look at our Facebook page, down through the news feed, you'll see that they were doing some demo work. And uh, we shared what their picture had on their Facebook page there. But if you go to our website, littermedia.com, and click on this advertisement, you will see their Facebook page for Scioto Valley Dumpsters. So give them a call today. What's that number, Mike? 253-8389, of course, 740 is your area code. All right. Tell them that Dan and Mike sent you. News is next. As a professional race car driver, I live for speed, power, and performance on and off the track. That's why I use the Dixie Chopper, the world's fastest lawnmower. Race into your local dealership today and test drive a new Dixie Chopper. Whenever I first applied for the Archways opportunity, oh, do I have to pay this back? Do I have to do that? Like, is it a loan? And it's not. It's a scholarship. A goal of mine is to graduate college debt-free. If you're a crew member, you get $2,500 a year, and if you're a manager, you get $3,000. And especially if you're going locally to college, like to the branch or something like that, it's really helpful. Turn the microphones on there and see. It went from silent movie to... Well, the last couple of days, Aaron's been sitting next to me. He's been <laughs> muting the microphones. So uh, here I'm doing it back okay. again. Uh, don't forget to go to littermedia.com. That's where you'll find a lot of the stories that we're sharing with you today. Also on our Facebook page, as well as Litter Media X, formerly Twitter. And subscribe to our YouTube channel. It is absolutely free. Free. Yes. Yeah. What's the top of the news today? Yeah, the city of Wellston uh, has canceled their water boil advisory. That had been in place for the entire city since Tuesday. They lifted it uh, late yesterday afternoon. So you folks uh, watching in at Wellston, 
you can get a drink of water without boiling it. <laughs> if you boil it, you might want to let it cool off before you take a drink. Yeah. Head to the water fountain. Let it run for about 10 seconds first and yeah. get some of that out of there. Uh, the Ross Chillicothe Convention and Visitors Bureau announcing the announcement of their or commencement of their nomination process. It's underway for its annual Pineapple Awards. Uh, these awards aim to recognize the best of the best here in Ross County tourism and the industry through various categories. The nominations for the Pineapple Award close on March 15th at 3 p.m. Individuals can obtain a nomination form through the Bureau's website, which is visit chillicotheohio.com. And if we can take a look here, here is the first of the Grand Pipe Pineapple Awards to be given. How about that? To Dan Ramey. Uh, and Mike Smith. It says, uh, <laughs> well, it doesn't say, does it? It just says Grand Pineapple 2014. Our names are not on it. How about that? But uh, Can we get that sent back and uh, changed? Well, we, <laughs> we probably could. I think Sonny's uh, Sports Plus did those back in the uh, day, so okay. maybe we could just go down the just street, down the street since, yeah. since they're down here now. But um, we were the first recipients, and uh, Mike was not there that day, mm -hmm. and I brought the pineapple home with me, too, because they had yeah. live pineapples they put on the table, and uh, then Laura Strasball didn't let that hang around very long. Yeah, We were cutting into it. <laughs> it was uh, good eating. So, yeah. uh, But they are looking for your nominations. I had someone yesterday ask me, about being nominated mm -hmm. and how they can go through the process. So there you go. Very good. So uh, you've got until uh, March 15th again mm -hmm. to get that taken care of. Uh, I think we told you about this early last week, but the Pump House uh, Center for the Arts is presenting their Best of Ross County exhibit. And tonight is opening night. It gets underway at 6.30, goes to 8.30 p.m. It's open to all Ross County High School students. And the show is judged with ribbons and prize money awarded to the winners. The show is sponsored by the James Bryant Butt Bean Foundation. And the show will run through the end of February. And it all opens tonight, right? Correct. So if you want to go see that this evening, if you're looking for a small uh, uh, finger foods and that sort of thing, they usually have that for the reception too. So make sure you check that out. Uh, Daniel and Jessica Green Griesheimer were both here yesterday to talk about a couple of projects they have going on. Daniel's involved in the movie project uh, without her. This is the uh, movie about domestic violence and having looked at through the dog's view of uh, his owner who is in a bad relationship. So uh, Jessica talks about her project, but Daniel, while he's involved with making that happen, is going to be teaching a series at Ohio University Chillicothe that talks about making film. And we caught up with them to learn what they had to say yesterday on the program. We're going to be talking about somewhat of the history of, of filmmaking, very briefly in the class, but we won't we won't waste too much on history because we have to focus on the future. Yeah. And, and that's where we need to actually push the, the knowledge in because there's going to be nine classes. Um, and there's going to be like a 10th like type of a 10th class, but it's not marked on the website. It's just going to be a film festival. I want to uh, get all the, the students uh, in the who was it, like in the class mm -hmm. so they can actually put the skills to the test. Nice. And nice. I think it'd be really cool. This has been a very intense life purpose for me to use the art of filmmaking, kind of how we were talking about, where directors and writers spend so much time in communicating in the right way to get that feeling across. And that's something that I've always found very fascinating is connecting the most powerful form of human emotion. I've always been told that I'm too sensitive and, and I, I do definitely cry over any like cute commercial on TV, anything. I'm the person that's crying in the room. But I believe that sensitivity is a part of what makes us as humans in a society in this community so wonderful. And so pushing forward every single day, every year, this town and all of the people in it grow tremendously in in every single beautiful way and i love the opportunity to cut my own slice of that out for this community 
If you'd like to hear and see more of what they had to talk about, just listen here on our Facebook page in our video section, but it's also available for you on YouTube as well. Uh, her movie uh, begins shooting in March, and they hope to have it released in October, which is uh, Domestic Violence Awareness Month. I guess I'm like uh, Jessica in the fact that I'm the crybaby in the movie. Yeah, uh, my dad. We used to make fun of him, or I did anyway. He'd have a glass of ice, and if there was something that was he was getting, he would rattle that ice. <laughs> well, I became my dad because man, I'm blubbering up at a Kodak film commercial. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, I'm with you. I I, I, uh, I have this uh, little. There's something in my eye yeah. uh, when I'm watching these movies too. Yeah. So my uncle used to say uh, his bladder was too close to his. Tear ducks. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Feb February is dog training education month. Uh, there's some do's and don'ts on the poster that you see on the screen there. That came from the Fairfield Humane Society. When you're training your dog, you just follow some of those tips to help out. If you find yourself in need of help, they do have a dog trainer named Dave who's available for private lessons. If you'd like to get more information, go to Fair Humane. Dot org. That's the Fairfield County Humane Society website. I just had a, a, a throwback to Space Odyssey 2001, was it, I think? And, uh, Dave. <laughs> so the, the animals are probably thinking, what are you doing, Dave? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What are you trying to do to us here? Oh. Uh, let's see. The annual tree sale for the Ross Soil and Water District took uh, Conservation District's program is underway. Just go to their website, rosscountyswcd.org, before February 14th. New this year, Dwarf Grimes Golden Apple seedling, Seedlings. Uh, you can also order pine seedlings and hardwoods in bulk at near wholesale prices. The district holds the annual tree seeding sale or that should be seedling sale, uh, as a community conservation project to get trees planted in the spring. All orders are pickup only, and pickup is scheduled for March 22nd at the Ross County Service Center in Chillicothe. Uh, the last day to place an order, again, is February 14th. Ran into Bob Neal uh, just, uh, I think it was Monday, mm -hmm. Monday afternoon. Hadn't seen Bob for a few hours. Uh, Didn't uh, Bob send us a, so. a packet of seeds of some kind last year? Uh, for milkweed. Yeah. Yes. And uh, I've been afraid to travel in the car with it because <laughs> uh, it looks like something else. <laughs> yeah. Officer, uh, they told me it was milkweed. It says yeah. on the label here, milkweed. <laughs> yeah, I see weed. That's all I yeah, see. Sure, yeah, right. That could be a problem. Yeah, so so it's, it's still sitting on the desk over there. I, I've not planted yeah. it. We mean, probably ought to take it over in the grass here on the side and see what happens if we plant it. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Bishop Leger, looking ahead, they're hosting their spring bazaar March the 9th. That's uh, 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. in the Bishop Leger gymnasium if you'd like to be a vendor for that bazaar just simply give bishop flaget schools a call well ahead hopefully of that march 9th event and the chillicothe vamc mental health and suicide prevention services is hosting spring fest 24 mm -hmm. and that'll be on may 4th may the 4th be with you May 4th <laughs> yeah there's all kind of things going on out there that day. I think they got a car show. And of course, there's always food mm -hmm. at a car show and a lot of other activities as well. But it's for um, uh, mental health and uh, suicide prevention. We've talked many times how many of our uh, tremendous veterans, unfortunately, we lose every day. And, and this is a big year for the VA because of it being their centennial. Right. So uh, there are, is plenty coming up this summer. And uh, we're involved with that uh, through our Adina Worthington's vintage baseball team. We'll be playing the Ohio Village Muffins in a game out there on June 1st. So a uh, lot of stuff planned going on at the VA this year to celebrate their 100 years of service. Very good. Well, those are our topics and sports will be coming up next. All right. Accurate heating, cooling, and plumbing. If you're looking for uh, something to, to, you know, let's say your heater's not working or maybe your electric bill is super high and you're wondering what the problem is. It very well could be your heating system. Yeah. So go to Accurate Heating, Cooling, and Plumbing to get more details. They are your trusted comfort advisor. Click on this ad that you see on our screen here. Anywhere you see it on littermedia.com, click on it, and it will take you right to their website. And for our radio listeners, it's accuratehvac.com for accurate heating, cooling, 
and plumbing. This is Andy Tomlinson. When insuring what's important to you, our agents are there when you need us the most. Tomlinson Insurance, for the best coverage at the best cost. Visit us online at tomlinsonins.com to learn more. At Rathcamp Financial, we believe in building client relationships for the long term, guiding you through the stages of wealth with a plan and bringing you closer to reaching your financial dreams. We believe in long-term relationships and working to earn your continued trust with our customized investment solutions. For transportation options in Ross County, call Ross County Health District's Mobility Management Team, 740-779-9652. Time for sports, and we're going to start today with uh, the high school activities from last night. Yeah, some uh, girls basketball last night. One Mid-State League Buckeye uh, contest last night. Fairfield Union beat Liberty Union by a score of 53-45. to Non-conference uh, uh, girls games. This was the first game for the Circleville Lady Tigers back uh, since the uh, automobile crash involving uh, Addison uh, this past uh, Friday. But they were a winner over Washington Courthouse in a non-conference matchup, 52-29. to So, Circleville Lady Tigers now 16-0 and on the season. This uh, Friday night is when they get back into conference uh, action, I believe. And our uh, Aaron Glandon will be there to capture. Uh, you know it's going to be heartfelt oh, yeah. uh, because there will be all sorts of uh, mentions of uh, Addison Edgington, uh, who... We showed you the video, was it yesterday morning, I think it was? It's, it's on our, our Litter Media X page uh, where she was standing for the first time. And uh, she's, she's an imposing individual because she's yeah, six foot six, two, yeah. just a freshman. Who knows if she's done growing? Right. And uh, But it was miraculous to see them working with her yesterday and an encouraging sign as well. And they want everybody to wear blue. Yeah, we were looking through. I, I, I did a little search, and their theme was supposed to be superhero night. Mm. And so what they decided to do was just have everyone wear blue. Yes. And I, I don't know what the significance of blue is there, if it's Addison's favorite color or whatever. The, it's certainly far different than the red that they usually wear uh, for red and black. But it was cool to see that this week, even heated rivalry, Taze Valley, mm -hmm. uh, that rival had a number of kids wearing yeah. red and black through school, all for this, uh, just to pay homage to this young lady. Absolutely. So uh, give them uh, your support this uh, Friday night. Uh, other games last night, uh, winners were Paint Valley, Hillsboro, Logan Elm, South Gallia Girls, Sheridan. They have not lost all year. That's a power Division II girls basketball team. Boys basketball, Paint Valley picked up a win over Western last night. Were you at that game? I was. Okay, 66-56. I went over after church. Ah, in fact, the, the public address <laughs> announcer uh, is uh, Mick Witt, uh -huh. who's the pastor of, um, uh, oh, I'm trying to remember the name of his church, uh, but it's right there on 124. And I walked in and he wasn't doing the PA. And I said, did they fire you? And he says, no, 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 I had church done. I know, mm -hmm. I was in our service too. And yeah. <laughs> so, but it was unusual to see he sitting there watching the game as opposed to being behind the microphone. Right. And his wife, Bethany, is the scorekeeper. And she was not keeping score last night either. Gotcha. So it was neat to, to see them in that fashion as fans again. Yeah, well, Wednesday night... Uh in it's church Ohio night, for yeah. a long time has been church night. Yeah. Speaking of uh, ball games, uh, we've got one on Litter Media Radio tomorrow night that we'll be talking about on our Facebook uh, live pregame show at noon today. Um, it's uh, Paint Valley at Piketon, our first visit to Piketon uh, this year for basketball. And that's why I was at the Western game last night because they played Paint Valley. Mm -hmm. And I thought, uh, surely Kyle Miller's going to be there to scout. Right. <laughs> so I thought, we've got both coaches for our preview show. I'll just grab them after uh, the game. So uh, we'll have both those interviews coming up uh, here on the show today at noon. Yeah. Uh, the Frontier Athletic Conference held, had their girls' swimming championships uh, last night. They did, and congratulations to the McLean Tigers coming up victorious. Uh, I believe we've got a picture of them in the pool there, mm -hmm. thanks to uh, the McLean Athletic Department. But uh, team scores shows uh, McLean winning it handily, 367-308 to over Chillicothe. Hillsboro was third, followed by Miami Trace and Washington Courthouse. And... Uh, 
if you've never been to this swim meet, it's really cool because at the end of it, and I match that happens at all swim meets, <laughs> the team jumps into the pool and then they take a, a camera shot of them and everything. So yeah. it's a lot of fun. But uh, the boys will be swimming tonight out of the uh, McLean pool. All righty. And uh, one last note, NBA action last night. The Cleveland Cavaliers get a win over the Detroit Pistons, 128 to 121. And that's a look at sports. We're about to jump back to 1790. Uh, Mike does not have his powdered wig today for this, though. <laughs> so, But uh, do stick close. We've got details on the way next with this state in history. You haven't had vodka soda like this. No one has. Made with the world's smoothest vodka plus real juice. New White Claw Vodka Soda. Find a career you love with Pick Away Ross Adult Education. Skilled trades careers are in high demand with no signs of slowing down. Pick Away Ross offers career training programs with expert instructors and hands-on learning tactics to create a variety of opportunities. Visit our website for more information. Each week, Litter Media presents the Neil Coleman Insurance Wyandotte Mutual Player of the Week. If you have an athlete to nominate, any amateur athlete is eligible. Simply visit littermedia.com and click on Player of the Week. At the end of the year, we'll announce the Player of the Year. Make your nominations now at littermedia.com. Click on Player of the Week. Kingston National Bank was founded in 1909 by local businessmen. The concept of a local bank supporting our community's financial needs with local decisions made sense. This is Phil Evans, President and CEO of Kingston National Bank. I invite you to make KNB your bank. We continue to make local decisions that benefit our communities. Experience innovative products and excellent customer service. When you need us most, you can count on KNB. Our community, your bank. Kingston National Bank. Member FDIC. Equal Opportunity Lender. This date in history in just a moment. But first, uh, we, we mentioned Neil Coleman Insurance. Why not Mutual Insurance Player of the Week? We will have this week's player announced during our basketball preview show, which is coming up here at noon today. All right. Now, where are we going in history? Uh, 1790. In the Royal Exchange Building on New York City's Broad Street... The Supreme Court of the United States meets for the first time. Hmm. John Jay is the Chief Justice of the Supreme Court, and he presides over this first Supreme Court meeting. And there he is, John Jay. Hmm. What Didn't the St. Louis Cardinals have a player by the name of John Jay also? Uh, that sounds right. Yeah. yeah. And, and there's a couple in our church, Jonathan, and her name is Jay. Hmm. How about that? And uh, isn't it John? No, it's John Jacob Ingelheimer Schmidt. <laughs> that, that's what I always think of uh, when I hear Portsmouth's fight song. Uh, Next time you're at a Portsmouth uh, game and they start uh, playing, uh, 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 when they start playing their fight song, all you can hear is John Jacob Jing uh, Ingelheimer Schmidt. <laughs> I wonder if he was a Trojan. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I know if you read your history, uh, when the um, founding fathers created the three branches of government, the Supreme Court, which was a part of that, uh, the three branches of government, it was not supposed to be anywhere near as controversial as it has become over the last 50 years. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's, it's almost like, oh, yeah, and then there's the Supreme Court. For many years, they were in the bottom of the Capitol building, in the basement. Mm. <laughs> Now they got their own building in 1933. Now they're full of themselves. Yeah. They wear these black robes yeah. and everything, you know. All that good stuff, yeah. <laughs> so there you have it from 1790. I want to take a moment to, uh, th this particular plaque was sitting in the studios of WKKJ and WBEX mm -hmm. and WCHI and who else do they have? Whoever else, uh, yeah. yeah. Um, but we had visited, stopped in to see Christina Wolford mm -hmm. one day, and I said, hey, can we have this? Because... Uh, you're not, you don't need to hear anymore. Yeah. And so it served its purpose today as a prop for our newscast. Story number two, you can review for the Pineapple Awards. I think so. we also confiscated the uh, the Red Cross Award that we got uh, for blood drives. Did we? For all the remotes that we did. Where is it? I think I got that one. Oh, you did? Yeah. Uh, yeah. So you got the Ruby Flynn Award. And, and that's Well, your name's on it too, but... Uh, yeah. 
Yeah, it is the, the late Ruby Flynn uh, that was uh, named in honor of her. She was one of the first people I met here. I mean, I think I met Ruby before the welcome wagon when, <laughs> when we moved to yeah, Chillicothe. Exactly. So, yeah. And she was out for blood. Yeah. And she got it, too. All right, uh, coming up here about noon, bless you, for those of you that might have heard wipe off everything from the sneeze, uh, Aaron Glandon uh, making his presence known. If he's not falling down, he's sneezing all over the place. (laughs) There is an interview that we play. Uh, What was the gentleman's name that was in here? Uh, Uh, Bob Nelson. Bob Nelson. Uh, If you listen to the radio, (laughs) and and you can see it on our YouTube channel, uh, you can't see this happen, but you can see Mike's reaction (laughs) to when Aaron fell out of the chair. Yeah. (laughs) I don't know whether it's. I don't know whether he's so bored that he fell asleep or what. Kind of like the, the Bible story where Paul's preaching and the kid falls out of the window and oh, has Eutych- to go bring was him it, back to life. Yeah. Is that Eutychus? <laughs> I can't remember. I think it was his name. Fell out of the window yeah. and yeah. Uh, brought him back to life. That's right. So we're you know we need. I thought we might need Paul that day to come and revive Aaron. <laughs> yeah, but it's really funny. I I always in, listen intently to that interview on Litter Media Radio there just just so I can hear the <laughs> kind of like Fibber McGee and Molly's old radio show when they open the closet, all that noise, everything falling out. Yeah, you know. but you handle it professionally. Or at least Bob did, because yeah. Bob didn't seem to notice that yeah. it happened. He didn't break stride. But he's ninety six years old, so he may yeah. have may not have seen that out of the corner of his eye. Oh, yeah, really? he said, are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> Half hour later, are you okay? You okay there, young man? Uh, golly, he was he was 70 when he was born. Isn't that amazing? Yeah, isn't that something? Yeah. <laughs> All right, that's it for the program today. Our daily show, you can always find on our website. At, at, well, you can find it right now on our YouTube channel, as well as here on our Facebook page. So uh, go back and take a look, see what you've missed with Dan and Mike and uh, Aaron as well. All right, that's it for the show today. Back at it to talk basketball coming up at noon today on the Litter Media Game of the Week preview show. That's coming up. So until then, enjoy the rest of your day, and thanks for watching.